and hello YouTube, this is GS Man with Smart, and I'm going to tell you a brand new video for tutorials with GS. In today's tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at Adobe Premiere Pro CC and showing you how to create a push transition with some motion blur, and it's going to look really cool. Now, Premiere Pro already has a set of transitions for you to use, which make transitioning from one clip to the other a bit more elegant, a bit more smoother. And you can mostly find these under the video transitions folder in the effects panel. Now, if you're looking for some more advanced transitions, uh, you can create a lot of them in Premiere Pro. You can also download some online. In fact, if I were to type in push here, as you can see, I have an impact push transition. And if I were to put that over here, you'll see it actually looks really cool like that. So this is an effect that you can actually download uh, from the internet. And you can just type in free Premiere Pro transitions on Google, and you can actually download a, quite a few of them. However, if you wanna create your own, you can actually recreate this this uh, push transition with the motion blur right here in Premiere Pro without downloading anything. And we're gonna show you how to do that. So what we wanna do first is get a push transition, and there is a push transition in Premiere Pro, the default push transition. Just type in push in your, uh, in your effects panel here. And we're going to drag it over the two clips. Now, if for some reason, uh, this transition is not in the center between your two clips. You can go and press the transition here. Go to your effect controls here and make sure this is set to center. Once you have that set to center, the next thing you have to do is decide how do you want your push uh, to look like? In which direction do you want it to come from? And this can very easily be changed. By pressing the directional arrows right here on this little effect, you can go up, down, left, right, and this will change how the effect goes. So I actually want to go from uh, from the right side. So I want the car driving uh, towards towards the left as it transitions, moves from left to right. So right now, that's basically what we have. All we have is this. But we want to make it a bit more quicker. We want to have some motion blur in it as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab this transition here. And we're going to grab the ends. And we're going to go ahead and just drag it towards the center more. And as you can see, that makes it go a bit quicker. Now you can make this as quick as possible or as slow as possible. And that's a bit too quick, I'd say. So let's just make it a bit longer. There we go. I think that's better. If you want to fine tune this, you can double click and you can actually set how long you want this to be exact. I think we're going to go a third of a second. So 10 frames should be a good amount. And yeah, 10 frames is good. Now, after we have that, uh, we want to add an adjustment layer over this so we can have some blur. So we're going to go up to, so we're going to go to our clips here at the very bottom here, which is new item. Go ahead and click new adjustment layer. So right here, adjustment layer. You can name this if you want to name it. Go ahead and press OK. We're going to go drag this adjustment layer over our two clips. Now you want to size this to be about the same length as your transition. It should snap toward. It should snap to the ends of the transition like this. As you can see, if we drag this, it snaps towards the ends like that. That's exactly what we want. And have it right on top of your transition here. Next, we're going to go to effects again. And here we're going to type in directional blur or direction yeah directional blur here it is it should be under blur and sharpen we're going to drag that effect over our adjustment layer and make sure that you are at the center of this transition if you zoom into your timeline here you can see that you can go frame by frame also if you have this clip selected here you can select a piece of the timeline by selecting certain channels make sure you have the first channel selected and then you can use your up and down arrow keys to actually go to the end points. So we wanna be right in the middle between these two clips like that. Make sure you have your adjustment layer selected. And then in our directional blur here at the effect controls panel up here, you wanna make sure that your blur length is set to a number that you like. So let's try 25. Uh, that's, that's good, maybe let's try 50. How does that look? The goal is to get this hard line out. So maybe a different, maybe a higher blur value is better. Since we're moving from left to right, we want the directional blur to be from left to right. So in your direction here, we wanna make sure this is set to 90. And as you can see, that hard line in the middle is gone. In fact, you may wanna set the direction first 
and then play around with the blur as you can see that looks fairly good if we go down to 25 the hard line is there you want to get the hard line out basically and I think at 50 that does a pretty good job at 50 is good so from here on we want to do is set a keyframe so set your keyframe after you've selected your value go ahead and set a keyframe there and then go ahead and jump to the very beginning of that transition once again if you select your channel here where your adjustment layer is you can actually use the up and down arrow keys again to set to, to get to the endpoints and to the midpoints so here's the beginning of this adjustment layer we're going to bring this down to zero and as you can see it starts at zero as it moves as we go to the next keyframe it actually starts to blur to 50. now the next goal is to basically get to the other side of the end point which is here at this end and then from here we want to set this down to zero also so what's basically happening in our keyframes here is we're saying okay tell premiere pro to start blurring at this point as we get to the completion of our transition as we get to the center point of this transition what our maximum blur value then set another keyframe a few frames forward five frames forward and that will basically set the blur value to zero and if you take a take a look at this you can see that it actually does a pretty good job now if you want this to go quicker if you want to change the values all you have to do is just you know lengthen this or shorten this and we can also change the blur values very easily just go to your central point here and your central point you can increase this blur value to 100 maybe even and as you can see we get a nice transition like that and if we compare this looks pretty good if we compare this to the other transition that we had just take a quick look at this again that's how it looks like with the transition that we just created if we go and take a look at the uh, push that I downloaded off the internet it pretty much looks exactly the same the only difference is this is a bit longer let's go ahead and change this also to 10 frames though as you can see it's a bit quicker but pretty much the exact same thing is happening so a lot of the transitions that you can download off the internet you can very well recreate here in Premiere Pro so that's how you create a push transition with some motion blur it's a great little effect to blend frames together to have a nice little transition between clips and hopefully you found this tutorial helpful hopefully you found it informative if you have any questions or comments leave them down in the comment box down below now I do know that I've been a bit slow on replying to some of your comments there's a lot of comments I couldn't go through all of your comments YouTube's notification system has been a bit uh, messed up lately because now it's including all of my subscribed videos as well and it's including a bunch of notifications I don't want to know about so if you're waiting if you're waiting for me to reply to your comment feel free to you know just repost your comment in a recent video if I don't get back to you just keep on reposting your question I'll eventually get to it there's a lot of comments on my channel here and I, I it's impossible for me to go through them all in an organized way because YouTube's notification system changed so now it's become a real nightmare to try and go through all these comments so I tend to go through comments uh, in the past month all the comments that I've had for the past month I've tried to go through and answer your questions if I missed yours just go and repost your comment and I'll definitely get to it uh, as soon as I can so if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet go and subscribe to the channel plenty of other Premiere Pro tutorials on our channel lots of other video editing tutorials image editing tutorials uh, audio editing tutorials lots of cool software tutorials so if you're interested go ahead and subscribe and if you want to check out the vlogging channel the gaming channel advice channel or the music channel links are in the description as well as on the end screen I also have a Patreon page. You want to donate a dollar there? You can do so as well. Links in the description, as well as a card in the top right corner of the screen. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, as always, guys. And this is GSM Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.